So this is a sneak peek of the prop master's dream. The opera opens early November, and it tells the story of a real-life prop master with both Chinese and indigenous roots. Well, Rosa Cheng is executive director of Vancouver Cantonese Opera. Welcome to our Vancouver, Rosa. So nice to have you here. Thank you, Gloria, and I thank you for inviting me to tell the story. So this, what about this story of this prop master? Where did this all originate? The story is about a dear friend of mine, Guan Wa Kuan, and he was born in 1929 to a Chinese father and an indigenous, indigenous mother. And then when he was about one year old, his father took him back to China. So he was grown up there. And he was also sent to um, apprentice in a Cantonese opera company. So then with a face of indigenous features, but he can sing Cantonese opera and perform Cantonese opera. And he also learned how to do, make props and backdrops. Wow, a real life story brought to life on stage. So yes. tell me a little bit more about the, the melding of these two cultures and how they're represented in this work. The reason why I tell the story about Guan Wa Kuan is he is a very unique character. First of all, in real life, he was very nice, always smiling, friendly. And then also he knows everything about Cantonese opera. In Vancouver, is hardly, there were at that time hardly any professional but he was the only professional on backstage. And even on stage, he sometimes taught us some special uh, arrangement on stage. In Cantonese opera, there's all, all kinds of special arrangement on stage. So uh, that's how we knew him. And also he is um, a person of many, many things you will be surprised. And also like um, he uh, taught like a mentor mm -hmm. backstage and he taught us how to sing some of the special uh, part of the Cantonese opera. And also one time when we had a performing a performance troupe come from Hong Kong, one of the scenes is a prison guard has to take the prisoner out on stage. And that involved special arrangement. And he was the only one who knew how to teach us. So that was no problem. Oh, I see. Now, what about the incorporation of uh, indigenous music in the production? Yes, we are, very, we are very lucky. We hire, uh, we invited Peter Tam, our uh, composer for the um, jazz music. And also, he also collaborated with uh, a lot of the indigenous artists, like drum, drumming. They, he was involved in the drumming circle in um, Chilliwack, the Stolo uh, people. So he, had, he has lots of friends, so he helped us. I see, and you've got one of the props with you here as well. This, yes. is, this isn't something you would wear. No, this is for the, um, the birth mother of Guan Wa Kuan in the opera. Her name, Lucy. Mm -hmm. So this one, will he, she will be wearing it when she, um, she was in a dream scene, mm -hmm. singing the dream song to Wa Kuan when he was asleep in Chinatown, when he arrived in Chinatown. And at the same scene, the adoptive mother, I'm the adoptive mother there, and my uh, name on the uh, stage is Phoenix. So Phoenix also came out to sing in the dream scenes. So that is that will be the highlight. I see. Yeah. And how do you feel about this role of, of Phoenix? This role of Phoenix is, I think it's very important because he, she is the one who uh, brought up Wa Kuan, mm -hmm. and she is also the one who taught her the uh, Cantonese opera how to be a good Cantonese opera performer and also a backstage um, prop masters. So that's eventually when Wang Kuan returned to Vancouver. So her, his only passion is Cantonese opera. So he always stayed in uh, the music society in Vancouver. That's how I met him. I met him in 1993 in uh, Chan Wa Sing, the oldest musical society in Vancouver. He was sitting in the corner of the um, society and watching people practice. He was always quiet. The only thing when he became alive is on stage, in the backstage. So his passion is Cantonese opera. That's your passion too. Yes, that's mine. Rosa, before we let you go, um, would you please uh, share with us some of the music from oh. the opera? I would love to hear you sing. I'm going to sing the theme song in the dream scene when the two mother appear in Wang Kuan's dream. So mine is going to be a Cantonese opera song. Thank you. <laughs> Mo 
始终得见路途契径，独行万里难呼应，顿感消绝，无奈暗泪盈。手难静，黎明欲晓，曙光乍现，望欲日初升。在逆境莫迷乱，自清明转，变众多应要近打拼，迷途无止怨，忧沮丧。亲生母总会患华困相应。Rosa Chang, congratulations! That is so beautiful. Thank you. Thank All you. All the best with the opera, and thank you so much for sharing that today. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you.